off. And because they got so many rotary wings ready for Hawaii County, we're yeah, ready to provide two CH-47s from the Hawaii National Guard for Maui County to support the Maui um, Fire Department. What so that's you, from the National, go ahead. Uh, General, what's, what's your uh, awareness now of what is happening on Lahaina? We understand the Coast Guard is actively rescuing people from the water who have leapt in to escape the fires. Yes, correct. We're, we're told uh, four ships were sent over there uh, because people are jumping into the water to avoid the fire and that the Coast Guard is providing support as we speak. Uh, Governor, uh, Acting Governor Sylvia Luke, you know, have you ever imagined this kind of scenario? This just seems completely out of context with any planned scenario. There doesn't seem to be a plan for the risk to a major resort destination like Lahaina. Yeah, no, I um, I agree. You know, whenever we deal with hurricanes, we're dealing with um, severe rain condition. We're dealing with uh, how do you deal with uh, uh, some type of a uh, uh, hurricane situation. Well, we have never imagined that um, this is this type of indirect impact um, based on a hurricane that is passing um, south side of the islands will have this type of wildfire impact. Um, this is not something that is naturally expected from a hurricane, and that's why um, yeah, even emergency response um, through air support is having difficulties only because we can't really send air support uh, in this kind of severe weather. Um, you know, we want our residents to be safe. Um, the Lahaina situation, because of the, we're seeing gust wind um, in the words of high 70s, low 80s. Um, this is something that is very new for many of our residents and um, the fire is spreading very quickly. I mean, things are happening by the minute. What's going to be happening tomorrow? What's going to be happening tomorrow, General and, and Lieutenant Governor? So, so Daryl, um, first off, I, I wanted to give um, some credit to the the National Weather Service, right? Because we really rely on them to tell us like if it's going to be raining or dry. They are the ones that told us that we'd be in a red flag situation. It is a high likelihood for wildfires in the state. So we were preparing for this in, in coordination with, with the county. So I, I really want to give credit to the National Weather Service. For tomorrow, to answer your question, is um, we got all that aviation support that I had mentioned earlier on standby and once the conditions are set we'll we'll launch them to to both hawaii county and maui county the reason we couldn't launch them today is as lieutenant governor mentioned the the winds were too high that we couldn't start the aircraft or if we landed in the county we couldn't shut it down our limitation is 45 knots for both the um, uh 60 blackhawks and ch-47 chinooks but let me ask this question were we ready for this scenario it doesn't seem like anyone envisioned, envisioned this. Actually, we were ready. Um, I, I gave out guidance yesterday to the Hawaii National Guard staff that we should anticipate the counties requesting support for the aircraft and the water bucket to support the fire department. We should anticipate security requests and we should re anticipate traffic control points. So they were staffed and ready the problem, like I said, is the, the weather limitations is what hampered us, but we were prepared because of the National Weather Service's prediction. You know, do you, you think- You almost have to governor, be- can I, I'm sorry to interrupt just really quickly. Oh, we don't have much time. I need to turn this around for our newscast tonight. Uh, do you expect that tomorrow Lahaina will have to be evacuated of all of the visitors who are there? I mean, we have thousands and thousands of people. We have a continuing wind warning. We have these fires. Do you, are we prepared to evacuate that area, that resort area? Evacuation efforts are continuing. Uh, I believe they're being evacuated um, uh, throughout the day. Um, Maui County is um, in, um, are taking care of the situation and we're in close communication with Maui as well. Okay, thank you both of you. Uh, Lieutenant Governor Sylvia Luke, Acting Governor. And uh, and General Hara, thank you for doing this interview with us on this late notice, and 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 let's all be concerned about the safety of our of our citizens and our visitors tomorrow. Aloha. Yes. And there Aloha. you have thank it. You. you heard.